Hello, I'm Anthony Hughes. Let's look at how to create triplets and all other types of tuplet in Dorico. While Note Input is active, with the caret visible, pressing the Tuplets button in the Notes toolbox will create a tuplet using a currently selected duration as the beat unit. By default, the button shows the ratio of 3 to 2, so we'll create a triplet, or three notes in the time of two. You can change this by long pressing the button and selecting a different tuplet ratio. You now input notes as normal, and they fill this newly created tuplet. When using a computer or MIDI keyboard, new tuplets will be created as you continue to type or play, until either you press the button again or type the colon key. The toolbox button now disengages and you return to normal note input. This time, let's select a different note duration to use as the beat unit, say an eighth note, and remember to do that before creating the tuplet, and then long press the button to input five eighth notes in the time of four. Note that you can select any duration you like when inputting into tuplets. You may have noticed that the last tuplet button shows a ratio of X to Y, which opens the tuplet popover to allow you to enter any tuplet ratio you need. The key command is semicolon, and so works in league with the colon key command for stopping tuplets. Input the ratio you would like your tuplet to be and press return. When using the popover, you can specify the beat unit without needing to select the duration from the notes panel. Simply append the first letter of the duration, so W for whole note, H for half note, Q for quarter note, E for eighth note, and just to spice things up, X for sixteenth note. Also, as a little shortcut to speed things up, you can enter just the number three to create a triplet. If you select the number or bracket of a tuplet and delete it, Dorico will turn those notes into their full untupletified durations. If you wish to convert tuplet notes into normal notes in the middle of a run of music, you can engage insert mode to shuffle all subsequent notes along, rather than risk them being overwritten. You can also convert normal notes into tuplets by making a selection and either pressing the tuplet button or using the popover. Dorico will even offer a suggested ratio so you can quickly hit return and continue. Now, you don't need to worry about things like bar lines when working with tuplets in Dorico. If you create a tuplet that will span a bar line, Dorico will handle how to notate it, splitting the tuplet into two parts. And this goes for moving existing tuplets as well, either when pasting copies to new locations, moving notes, or as a result of using insert mode. If you prefer to see a single tuplet spanning the bar line, you can open the Properties panel in the lower zone and enable the Spans Bar Line property. You can delete the notes in a tuplet without actually removing the tuplet itself, allowing you to input different notes without having to recreate the tuplet structure. If you want to remove a tuplet entirely, ensure the number or bracket is selected alongside the notes. For more advanced scenarios, you can nest any number of tuplets using whatever ratios you require. Simply start a new tuplet wherever you need it, even if that is within an existing one. And that's inputting tuplets in Dorico. I'm Anthony Hughes. Thanks for watching.